do developers need to understand the blockchain at all to use Demo? No, not at all. So, Hello, I'm James Lee, Head of Developer Relations here at Demo. Wolski, I'm a Developer Relations Engineer at Demo. Hey Barrett, I'm excited to learn about building with Demo. For someone who's just getting started, what's the first thing that they need to understand? Yeah, great question. So if you're just getting started with building on Demo, the best place to start is understanding Demo accounts and developer licenses. So these are really the foundation of everything that you'll be doing as a developer on our platform. Do developers need to understand the blockchain at all to use Demo? No, not at all. So we've designed our system so that you don't need to fully understand the mechanics to use your Demo account effectively. But I'll give you some basics so you can appreciate what's happening under the hood. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, so in traditional Web3 systems, users typically manage something called an externally owned account, or EOA. So you can think of this as having a physical wallet with your ID and assets, but to open it, you need to remember a 12 to 24 word seed phrase, like a master password. If you lose that password, you lose access to your account forever, which obviously is not ideal. So. How does Demo handle this differently? Well, with Demo, we take a different approach where when Demo users first sign up, we deploy a smart contract account on their behalf. This account is controlled and solely owned by the user via their email and passkey. This account doesn't only contain the Demo tokens, but also all the vehicles that the user owns. So it's really their complete digital identity in the Demo ecosystem. So as a developer, what does this mean for me? Right, so as a developer, this means that your users who are using Demo will get all the benefits, like true data ownership and decentralization, without the complexity of traditional Web3 accounts. Does that mean my app will not have these confusing pop-ups like traditional Web3 applications? Yeah, exactly. So behind the scenes, every action that involves your user's data or digital assets requires what's called a signature. In traditional Web3 apps, users constantly get pop-ups requiring them to sign cryptographic transactions that they might not understand. With Demo, users can use the login flow with clear information about every transaction, plus typical ways to provide signatures using either passkeys or a one-time password. So as a developer, do I need to handle any of the account creation complexities myself? Nope, not at all. So our SDKs and developer tools handle all the account interactions, transaction signing, smart contracts, and additional security layers. So this means you can focus on simply requesting telemetry data or taking specific actions, and the system takes care of presenting the user with clear approval interfaces. Wow, this is really helpful. So what's next for someone who wants to dive deeper? Sure, yeah, so in the next video in this series, we'll dive deeper into getting your developer license configured via the Demo Developer Console. Nice. Guess I'll see you then. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs>